the background music here is Barry Gray's Hijacked from Joe 90. Seemed a suitable piece of background music to show the mini albums and 45 RPM singles that I've got relating to the Jerry Anderson shows. They made 37 mini albums, of which I have 30. There's three more Thunderbirds ones that I haven't got, two Tinger and Tuckers, a Topo Gigio, and one of Barry Gray's versions of traditional nursery rhymes, but with a space theme. Obviously I'd like to pick up the Thunderbird ones particularly, but I'll grab the others as and when. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the collection I've got so far. Anyone that's looking at these films will certainly have some knowledge of the Anderson shows and the related merchandise. So you'll be aware that of these various mini albums, um, some were based on actual episodes with um, a particular character, a voice artist, uh, giving narration to fill in the gaps for what couldn't be seen. Others were written specifically for mini albums, they're original stories, they're quite good fun. Um, and again they use the actual voice artists and proper music and sound effects. Some of them like uh, TV21 themes, uh, Lady Penelope themes, uh, themes from Captain Scarlet, are um, theme music to the programs, background music, but also uh, in the case of this particular one, uh, Barry Gray's um, interpretations of other classic TV themes. Things like Man in the Suitcase there and the Monkeys, which is uh, a joy to listen to. Uh, this one here's uh, got lots of primarily Anderson music apart from um, the Doctor Who theme. Um, that's a nice one. But primarily these have been bought over the last 25 years or so since I've been seriously collecting. I had a lot as a kid, um, but they've all bit the dust. Um, I had them bought for me in... A1 stores, a record shop in Woolworth Road and East Street Market. But I am aware that these were also promoted as being sold in toy shops. Not that I ever saw them in my toy shops. Um, these were only ever bought for me in the record shop. Um, along with the various mini albums, which obviously I'll let you have a little look at the covers. They go right back as far as Fireball. That's an interesting one there. That's one where uh, kids were encouraged to take the part of a character from Stingray um, there was dialogue dialogue missing and you had a little script that you read the words and fitted it in that's quite good fun um, obviously they went in order from Fireball right the way through to Scarlet they stopped doing mini albums when they got to Joe 90 which is a shame so I think it would be interesting to hear some of those that's one that everyone remembers uh, it's got the Abominable Snowman song in it that's quite a good laugh um, but like I say, they're, they're, they're very, very nice, very collectible. Um, unfortunately, now quite expensive. Some of them appear more than others, and you can maybe pay something in the region of about £15 for them. But I've unfortunately had to go up into the region of 50 quid for some, and I'm sure I'll have to go a little bit more than that for the last three Thunderbird ones I need. Uh, the Scarlet ones are all very nice, uh, and again, very, very visually appealing look very nice um, perhaps displayed I know people do display them, I don't but I've seen people with displays on the wall and these are some of the other singles that came out at the time this is the picture cover single for the theme to Thunderbirds with the very well known Parker Wall done on the other side this is the Cliff Richard and the Shadows EP that came out when Thunderbirds I'll Go came out uh, this is the picture cover single to the theme to Joe 90 uh, with hijacks on the other side and although not Jerry Anderson or Barry Gray music this was a single I wanted to not pass me by it's the Spectrum um, and their famous hit uh, or rather the biggest hit that they had it was a big hit in Europe heading for a heat wave and this is I believe a Spanish pressing but it was obviously the cover that makes that appealing to Anderson fans um, great to see the band themselves on the set with their puppets were in the appropriate uniform so that's quite a nice one but overall like I say it's, a, it's a, a part of my collection that I'm pretty happy with they all play they're a little bit poppy and hissy here and there but none of them are dreadful uh, but primarily I do get them for the covers so um, I'll go along again just to give everyone a little look um, 
Journey to the Moon is a nice one because it predates the 1969 moon landings but it gives you um, a kind of a history lesson as if it had happened in the past talking about um, what went on when Apollo 11 would have landed on the moon so as I say moving through there Stingray introducing Thunderbirds which does just that it tells kids about the setup of the uh, international rescue and the different operatives that they've got and the vehicles all of the main characters are on that one um, that gives the story of why Marina cannot or is unable to speak so that's a nice little bit of background um, I think that's where a lot of the background information to the characters and the storylines um, have been accumulated over the years from officially licensed uh, Century 21 merchandise and product um, but like I say they're very very nice to look at they're fun to listen to every now and then which is what I do but primarily I look upon them as a collectible so there you go the Century 21 mini albums and related records thanks for watching